Looking to create a sitemap for your WordPress website? Well, in this video, we're going to explain how to create a sitemap in WordPress step-by-step. -step. Sitemaps help search engines to crawl and index your website for search engine optimization. XML extensible markup language files contain a list of the essential pages on your website. And they tell Google, Bing, and other search engines where your content's located, when a page was last updated, and the importance of specific pages on your site. But don't confuse XML sitemaps with HTML sitemaps. XML sitemaps aren't visible to your users and therefore the search engines, whereas HTML sitemaps are for your users and they help them navigate through your site. Sitemaps help search engine bots find and index your site's pages and improve their visibility in search results. Now, if you have a new blog without any backlinks, Google is going to have trouble discovering your content, so your site might not be indexed and you won't be ranking on search results. But with a sitemap, Google can discover all of your pages and index them. That's why search engines like Google and Bing provide you with an opportunity to submit your site's sitemap. WordPress generates a basic sitemap, but it can cause some errors and it's not customizable unless you know PHP code. That's why it's best to create a sitemap using a plugin. Now, the easiest way to do that is through All-in-One SEO. It's got lots of great features and it's one of the best SEO plugins for WordPress. To install All-in-One SEO on your site, you'll need to head over to your admin sidebar, hover your mouse over plugins, and then click Add New. Now type in All-in-One SEO in the search bar, and once you've located the plugin, go ahead and click Install and activate it. Now, if you need a little help, just see the link in the description on how to install a WordPress plugin. The All-in-One SEO plugin automatically creates a sitemap for you, so once you've installed the plugin, you're all set. You can double-check to see that the sitemap's enabled by going to All-in-One SEO, then Sitemaps, and then you'll need to go to the Enable Sitemap option and make sure that the button is toggled to On. To verify your website's sitemap, simply click on the Open Sitemap button. You'll see an index page for your sitemap that looks something like this. Now, by default, All-in-One will create a sitemap for your post pages and categories. If you have an online store like WooCommerce or have products listed, it's going to set up a sitemap for them as well. To manually view your sitemap, just visit your website URL and add forward slash sitemap.xml at the end of it, and it should look something like this. Now that your XML sitemap's ready, it'll automatically send all new updates to Google and Bing. Now let's look at some of the settings that you can configure. First, if your site has over a thousand URLs, then you can decide if you'd like to have an index page. Now, if your site has less than a few hundred, then you can easily disable that setting. Just go to all in one SEO, then sitemaps and toggle the Enable Sitemap Indexes button to Disabled. If you're unsure, you can just leave it enabled. Next, you can change the links per sitemap setting if you like, but for most users, you'll just want to leave this as it is. You can also decide which content to include in your sitemaps. Here, you can choose to include all post types and all taxonomies by leaving the box checked. If you uncheck these boxes, you'll see a list of all the different post types and taxonomies. Now, just select the individual boxes of the content that you'd like to include on your sitemap. All right, lastly, you can choose whether you want to include date archives and author archives in your sitemap by enabling or disabling the option. WordPress will automatically create these when you publish new posts on your site, but we recommend leaving these options disabled because they aren't too valuable in search results. And that's it for this video. Now, you don't want to miss the opportunity to get Monster Insights at a discounted price, so be sure to check out the discount link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click one of the videos on your screen now.